Well, guys, today we're going to be talking about Aspen Dark Phoenix, the final um, episode of the series of this trilogy right now. At least for right now. Um, of how Nightcrawler could be in his face. So, when I was watching Dark Phoenix, I, I thought of this instantly as Nightcrawler teleported into space. Because there was, you know how like per black things travel around him, right? It creates a small wormhole that is sustainable, but it sucks him in. He can kind of control it. Longer than most people, but he gets sucked into it. So he could like just make it like, make it a, a, a wormhole in the ship and then teleport the air into space with him. It's an endless vacuum. The space is an endless vacuum, dummy. He could be. He could still be in a wormhole. I mean, you see how it surrounds him in the movies? It could surround him again. I mean, he could probably control wormholes, not for that long, but people can. There's his adrenaline will start running, and he could probably sustain it for a longer amount of time because he's a mutant, and this makes sense. So we know how he teleports, and that it's possible. Because wormholes need to be sustainable, they are. He gets sucked in, yes. He could just surround himself with the wormhole. They don't have to be facing him. They could be facing other places, but also sucking the air in. That doesn't really make sense. To, if that doesn't make sense to you guys, um, I don't know. Because this was an interesting theory to do, so bye.